yes! Welcome back to That's Some Kinda Nerds! I am playing something very nostalgic for someone. And myself as well. I haven't played this game in years, however, I did own... I do own the uh, Rare Replay. And I did try to play it, but it had the old, uh, old gameplay, and it was very, very terrible. Luckily, they put in a new modern control scheme, so not only does it work, it just works. As you can tell, I had started a game file, but we're going to have to erase this. Ooh, I don't remember this one. Yeah, you kind of don't. But, uh, yeah. So, we are going to start a new game file. This shall be... I hope this brings back some memories for someone who I'm going to send this to. And he better comment below, because if he doesn't, I'm going to be very upset. Jet Force Gemini. I owned this game when it was originally out for the N64. The Nintendo 64. And yes, the game looked just like that. However, I will say, on an HD platform, it looks a hell of a lot better, but still looks like crap. <laughs> but, uh, in all the years that I had the game, I never completed it. We're going to try to complete it. So this is going to be very interesting. All the sound effects, the noise, oh god, just nostalgic all over the place. played this game so many times trying to find pieces and thinking that I was doing something wrong. I knew I was doing something wrong, but uh, God, 
before I even had internet. Couldn't find a game magazine for it. As far as I know, there never was one. Ah, we've been expecting you. Vela, Vela, and Lupus came charging through not so long ago. Feisty pair, aren't they? I'm Mangus, Magus, Magnus, uh, Gold, Goldwood, and Goldward Ambassador. Uh, not that the union's much, much, union's much use. Uh, without backup, the tribals couldn't hope to fend off Mizar's raiders. You'll find the tribal king in his hut. Just this way. I promised I send you to him when you arrived. Follow the green door symbols to move forward or the red ones if you want to retreat. Retrace your steps. But but I've rambled on long enough. You better hurry up. You better hurry if you're hoping to catch up with your teammates. Sorry about that. <laughs> I wonder if I have a mild dyslexia moments. Other times I think my brain just kind of goes a little too fast. Okay. Ah, yes. You little bastard. <laughs> Do no. Thank you for coming. A dark day is upon us when King Jeff of the Tribals is powerless to save his own people. We can only trust in Jet Force Gemini to Fort Mizar's plans for domination. Tell you what, it gets a bit depressing, all this king business. Still, must keep a stiff upper lip. If you could rescue as many tribals as possible in between slaughtering drones, I'd be most grateful. Let me know if you see my brother, too. He's been missing for some time. I hope to return these this favor later but at the moment I can do little except perhaps conjure up a time loop to replay the invasion you know for uh, back then I didn't even know that you could do choices like this I just always picked the top one and I just never could understand why I was triggering certain things it was only like years after that I realized that you can actually pick something uh, let's do show me the invasion <laughs> While I cough. This man's dead, so... Or bear, or whatever he's supposed to be. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that little... Ah, no! Yep. Same as crappy controls, but you know, it's funny. For back in the day, if you played this game a lot, you had no issues with the controls. Watch me as I step in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you can't always tell I didn't catch fire. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you played this game as much as we did back in the day, yeah, this this game was something. So yeah, this was something that you couldn't do uh, unless you switch to. Um, oh geez, what was the control scheme you had to switch it to? I can't remember. It was weird because all you could do was just move side to side. Like you couldn't do it like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't be too hasty, Juno. Goldwood isn't the place it once was. You can't risk going in unprepared. Keep an eye out on your pistol's charge gauge, as you'll need all the firepower you can muster. For a start, life force doors such as this one won't open while Mizar has troops active in the area. You must destroy all nearby enemies to, pro to progress. Learn to use the L trigger to manually target. Also, take note of these region markers. A green one lets you know that you're about to enter a new region. A red one shows that you're leaving a region. And both together mean that you're moving from one region directly into another. Okay. Uh, that's all. That's about all I can tell you. Get through this first door and you'll and you are as ready as you'll ever be. Good luck, Juno. Listen to the briefing before you start. Okay. Fuck off. I used to love shooting this dude. I love the sound he always made. <laughs> Liberate this once peaceful planet from Mizar and his evil drones. Colored gems can be collected. These will increase your health. Beware of Mizar's soldier drones. They remain on Goldwood in great numbers. Though weak, they often travel in groups. Don't be caught off guard by sniper drones. They use the treetops as ambush points. Pick them off using manual targeting. These crates contain ammunition. Collect them to increase your supplies. the tribals. This bear-like race has been enslaved by Mizar. Free as many tribals as you possibly can. When you have completed your objectives, find the takeoff pad where your ship awaits. You are now one step closer to Mizar's lair. <laughs> yeah, so, like I said, it takes you back. But at this point, you can actually just kind of walk around like this. Come here, you little slut. Where's the ammo? There you go. You can collect heads. Save a tribal at the same time. Seven. Uh, that's one of seven. Now six. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh sh yeah, here. Uh, look, I'll save you first before you go go all crazy. Shush, shush. God, I tell ya, this shit brings back so much memories. You know the funny thing is, I have very fond memories of this back in the day, playing this with an old friend who used to live in my area, and hopefully, if I upload this, he may comment on this and think, wow, I need to play this too. And, uh, 
you need to, my friend. Really, really need to. Ah, that's a grenade! Technically, there's more in these like doors, but you have to blow it up. You won't blow up anything on the inside, but you know, you still gotta blow it up though. Well, try not to get hit by a grenade. I love how technically you can shoot a grenade when they're thrown, and it really fucks up their day. Like that. Am I being shot at? I think I'm being shot at from behind. Yep, I'm from behind. But god, yeah. I remember when we heard about this game, and I, and you know, to be honest, I don't know what made me realize about this game. I want to say I rented this from Hollywood Video, and I think because it said Gemini, and technically I am a Gemini, and I think I must have thought, hey, this game must be catered to me. And uh, around this time... I was really big into Starship Troopers, and I mean, like, really, really big into it. It wasn't even funny how big I was into it. Um, at that point, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanted to join the military, but, uh, yeah, there was no way I could have with certain things that was wrong with me. Uh, mostly through family genetics and, and uh, history of mental illness, I doubt... Look at this one, just staring off in the space. Yeah, you deserve to die. Come on. There you go. Hey, there we go. So, yeah. This was, like, Jet Force Gemini was my only way to really recreate Starship Troopers. Um... Like I said, I love the game, Fran. I love the the movie. Didn't even know it was a book. Come on, come on, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, didn't didn't even know it was a book, and you know just wanted to try to live it out as much as I could. This was the only means to do it. Um, I do know that my friend wound up getting the same game. And, you know, we just, we had fun. We, le we legit had fun playing this game. We, we, we just did. It was amazing. This, this game holds a lot of fond memories for both of us. Probably more so for me, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Yeah. But yeah, it's so nice seeing modern controls. But, like I said before, uh, when you were playing the original on the N64, you got used to the controls. Because they were kind of unique for the time. And they and this still holds true, even to this day. Because oddly enough, my N64 still works. I know I can't technically go in there. I need a machine gun. And I'm, I'm about to 
to say I'm going to get one soon. Okay, that one I need the red card. Just trying to get some memory back. It's like riding a bicycle. Again. I move pretty fast. I know, it's just occurred to me that you might be curious about this door. It's actually a training area for Miser's airborne squadrons. However, I'm afraid it's out of my jurisdiction. So don't expect to get in in there unless you have contacts. Other doors required heavy firepower to open. Miser security isn't subtle. Oh, and before I forget, Vela left this key for you when she passed through. Where was she headed? Hmm. There was some mention of scavenging for supplies on the old SS Anubis. Better get moving, Juno. Alright, can I have... I love how it's like specific. Can I have the red key? You now are in possession of the red key. I will say this though if there's one game from back in the day that probably deserves an update in more modern controls more HD graphics voice acting it's this game this game oh geez, uh, this game to my understanding was one of the first games to actually have. Okay, come on. Stop jumping. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Ah! Oh, you found the machine gun. Take care. Take care with its rapid but inaccurate firepower. You can technically shoot that. You have to be close to get it. Yeah, well, never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this would be really good if it had been uh, really updated with the better graphics. Yep, that's all you really have to do. It's that simple. Yay! But it would really be amazing. I could just see, like, it being on either Unreal Engine 4 or even Unreal Engine 5. It would still look amazing. And I do mean it would look amazing on Unreal Engine 5. But still. So I love the growls. Growls along the way, I swear, are like some of the best. The, um, what, uh, uh, what I was trying to mention before was that uh, I didn't realize this, but actually, Jet Force Gemini was one of the very few games back in the day that was actually using Dolby Digital uh, for back in the day for the games, and it was kind of unique for it being a you know a cartridge, a cartridge-based game. Because remember. Cartridge games had their limitations, and, uh, yeah, so if it could do it, I mean, Nintendo found a way, I won't lie. Is there another person? I could have swore so someone went by me. Alright, never mind that. But yeah, uh, Nintendo had, like, the N64, I was surprised that I was able to play anything from, like, Resident Evil 2. And I'll say this, Resident Evil 2 is one of my favorite games on the N64. Oddly enough, it surprisingly looked a hell of a lot better than on the PlayStation. But it did look choppy in its in its uh, CGI cutscenes. Uh, because, again, this was a damn... This was a... A cartridge thing. This was not. I keep hearing explosions, so I know what's going on. Ah, there we go. Ah. 
Yeah, come on. There we go. <laughs> that was a well, well, that was a loud truck that just went by. Sorry, I'm recording this at like 2.28 in the morning, so it's really weird when you start hearing a loud ass truck and the uh the mic picks it up too, and you can actually physically see it. Just shooting at me. God, I remember. I always got curious to see what would happen if, if I ran out of ammo for the pistol, and it's surprisingly pretty interesting. Like, it's not really a pistol. Like, I mean, it is, and then it isn't. That makes any sense. Uh, like how it said, pay attention to your your plasma, uh, your your charge count, and that's kind of what that kind of what that is. Oh, shit, I'm about to die. Uh, I'm about to die. Oh shit, I got like one health bar left. One fucking health bar. That is not going to help me. Um, if I remember correctly, it did say I can go back. I don't know if stuff would respawn. That's not going to help me. Barely going to help. I might get lucky. Damn it. <laughs> damn it, damn it. I got one continue left. Which is so funny because now I have no other pistol. I have no other ammo. Oh wait, I might be able to fill it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the one thing I loved about this game was that it encouraged exploration. But it would only encourage it if you had already... Um completed certain levels with certain characters. Uh, if you already knew, say, like, that one. Okay. So, you already saw that one area that popped up before. I can't get to it. Well, what character could? Oddly enough, it is not Ve uh, Vega or, or his sister. It is actually the dog that can do this. The dog is the only one that can actually do, like, a little hover jump. He's so cute, too. Oh, okay, there's some more. That's what I needed. Right there. There we go. Live unit, Gemini. Come here, you little slut! You stay away from my... Where's all of you? There you are. That's... I got five to go. Full machine gun ammo. Where is the other one? There's the little asshole. Where's... No, there was more. Aha! Aha! There's more of them. So far, none of them have died, so I've got three left. I want to say there's more... Yeah, you really need to get your hands on certain power-ups, and, like, you need to do it in a heartbeat. Yes. 
Oh, that's right. Those little assholes are like right here. There they are. It's all three. All three. There we go. <laughs> there we go. No more than 30 minutes. No more than 30 minutes. <laughs> Tell you what, this game is something. Hell, to be honest, I've been always wanting to, to beat this game for years. And I do mean for years, I've never beaten this game. I think now I can actually look up strategy guides and figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. <laughs> And actually find these damn things. Find the parts that I'm supposed to get. And I can actually face down Mizar and say, I beat Jet Force Gemini. But, I will say this. This is going to be one of the shortest videos that I've made so far. Only because, well, each level is short in general. Um, as long as you know where the hell you're going. This one will probably be the longest, only because it has been a while since I've done this. And the first level tends to always be the, you know, the one that you are always going to remember no matter what. But let's first grab this. Plasma shotgun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let this baby, let this baby charge. Oh yeah. I love all the sound effects. Like hearing all of that, that's amazing to me. And I hear I hear somebody. Yeah, 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 I hear you. So yeah, let, let, let's go let's go over here real quick and just see what happens. Come on. Oh, he's down there. Jesus. Well, no wonder why I'm confused, little asshole. All right. Well, we got the plasma shotgun. Uh, let's uh, let's stop it for today. We'll continue in episode two for this.